What's going on, my little bundle of chestnuts? It's your girl, Kate Winchester here. And as you know, um, well, as some of you may know, like, the real OGs know because... <laughs> but anyway, um, I've had my fair share of paranormal experiences and um, I believe in... I mean, yeah, there is a God above and, you know, and there is heaven, there is Lucifer... But I also believe that you can somehow, like, get stuck somehow, because, like, a lot of unexplainable things have happened to me, and I just can't really explain it other than ghosts. Like, I've had sleep paralysis, I've had- I can't sleep with, without my closet door closed for a reason. Um, and, you know, I tell stories about my sleep paralysis, and I've had, uh- days where I'm really, really depressed because of some of my experiences, and I think that the negative energy that's been following me around all my life kind of feeds off of my depression, and that's what makes me more, like, depressed and numb. But anyway, the point to this rambling is where I go to school actually just so happens to be haunted. So if you want some stories based on that, please let me know because I have experiences my friends can vouch for me. If you even want, I can do like an EVP session in my dorm or something like that. But it's actually a rule to not bring an Ouija board. Literally, like it's in the pamphlet, like it's in the freaking, I don't want to say brochure, but it's in the pamphlet that you get when you get accepted of the rules and the dress code and all that. The thing that it says, do not bring, on top of weapons and on top of rope and everything like that, like, don't ask me how I know about the rope thing, but there, but like, <laughs> there's a lot of things that you can't bring, and, and a Ouija board is literally on that list. It's in all caps, it's in bold. I laughed at it, because I was like, who would bring in a Ouija board? Like, what, why is that even on there? And then I got there, and I was like, oh... That's why it probably wouldn't be a good idea to bring in a Ouija board. So please let me know if you want my experiences, if you want me to do a FaceTime with my friends and get their stories and somehow film it, please let me know because there are a lot of them and I can probably make it a series. But if you just want a video where um, I can explain what happened there, because it's a very sad and depressing place if you really think about it. Like, there was a lot of depressing uh, depression there. Like, one of the dorms actually used to be a morgue. It's a fact. Like, if you go in there and if you do your research, you will find out a lot of fucked up, crazy, disturbing things about that. And a dorm used to be a morgue. So most of the goings on are in a dorm. But where I live in E-Dorm, there are some stuff going on there too. Because it used to be like an Air Force base, and then it it was an Air Force base, and then it was a hospital, and then it was like a hospital for World War II vets, and then it was an Air Force base, and then it, it was all kinds of things. Like, people were literally buried at the at the school. So if you seriously want me to get into more depth of what happened there. If you want me to share my stories with you guys and my sleep paralysis stories that have happened over there, please let me know and I will share that with you because I'm at a loss when it comes to that because, you know, I try to just kind of be like, that's normal, and then go back to sleep. But sometimes it's really hard. And uh, it's hard to pretend like it doesn't scare you when it actually does. So, uh, I would mostly be doing it for my, for myself, but if you guys don't want to hear about it, then I'll just, like, do my research or whatever, but I, I know how much you guys like my story times, and I'm running out of ideas, and I, I'm desperate for an answer of how to get the thing that I'm dealing with out of my freaking room so I can go to sleep. <laughs> so anyways... But yeah, ever since I've been home, it's the best sleep I've gotten since I left for school. And I'm an insomniac, so I'm an insomniac. I'm taking medicine for that, and I haven't even had my medicine, and I had to borrow my stepmom's medicine 
But even on the days that I don't take my pill, I sleep so much better than I do when I'm on my pill in my dorm. So, yeah. So that's uh, pretty disturbing to think that something in my room in Job Corps is literally affecting me that bad and I'm just pretending like it's not. So, I, yeah, please let me know if you want a story about that and I will do it. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Stay body positive. Kate Winchester out. Hasta la bye-bye. And God bless your nutty little hearts. And don't forget to go nuts. Also, I'm probably going to just make it a series because there's a lot.